want to see clearly now. Uh, welcome back. As the year winds down, many people might resolve to take better care of themselves. One of the easiest ways to do that is to make sure that your eyes are healthy. Optometrist Dr. Gina Wesley is here now with her top five tips and it's a good time of year for you to be with us yes this is a time where you need to plan it's not after January 1st it's before and a lot of us have these spending plans and different types of uh, things that we need to use up by the end of the year so it really makes that uh, actually yep. more efficient for you as well it does beginning with number one number one you just need to make sure you get regular eye exams okay it's important for us to evaluate the health of your eye and make sure that everything is going on inside the eye nice and healthy there are changes that you can't detect that we can in an eye exam and we can help you protect your eye before it becomes a problem. Most of us are in the habit of using sunscreen. You say it's as important for your eyes to put on sunglasses. It is important Why? to wear sunglasses. Most of the UV exposure you get in your lifetime is when you are a child, but you do get incrementally more as time goes on. So as I have over here, some examples, a good pair of kids sunglasses, a good pair of men's and women's, and it's important to not have a good old quality pair to make sure you're getting the 100% UV, but that the quality of the lens you're getting is going to be nice and clear without distortion. You also advise wearing protection for the eyes around the home and for sports. Yes, always. always. The One of the leading causes of vision loss and damage in people under the age of 40 is injuries to the eyes. So when you're doing yard work, when your child's playing sports, it's important. And there's a variety of different protection that we can have. There are kids' rec specs. There are even sunglasses that have padding on the outside so that if you're mowing the lawn, that dust doesn't get into your eyes, causing a corneal abrasion. There's so many options out there. It really is quite easy to be comfortable and, and safe. How old uh, typically is the first exam as when we're children? You know, at my office, I have a program where I actually examine babies in their first year of life to make sure their vision is developing normally. But I do recommend after that, between the ages of three and four and every year after, to ensure that their vision is doing normal and well in school. Good nutrition lays the groundwork for good eye health throughout your life. Yes. And you brought in some examples of things that help our eyes that yes, we know. Yes, definitely. You always hear about spinach being good for the eyes. Broccoli as well. You know, spinach, leafy green vegetables, including the broccoli, this is going to protect the macula because there's lots of lutein and mm -hmm. zeaxanthin. The other thing is vitamin C. Red peppers are one of the highest sources of vitamin C that you can get into your diet. It's not orange juice like people typically think. Vitamin C is very protective against cataracts as well as macular degeneration. And the old adage about carrots being good for the eyes is true. Lots of good vitamin A with carrots. And vitamin A will help replenish your visual cells so you've got good night vision and that you're functioning at the appropriate level. And I, I know folks with their dogs that give them the carrots as well, believing that that helps the animal yep, too. So absolutely. It's, it's a good thing. So these are all good things, good seeds that give you good eye health throughout, throughout your life. Yep, mm -hmm. and it's important to remember it's a consistent effort and regular care will help really protect your eyes. And having these goals and making them habits is what's going to be the best thing for you. Dr. Gina Wesley, great to have you here Thanks, today. Pat. For more information on Dr. Gina's tips that she shared with us today, head over to our show page on carolevin.com. It's located under the news tab.